guys and welcome back to Rag Re blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Hey guys and welcome back to Rad Resales. I'm Natalie. I'm Will. And we are resellers, meaning we flip items online for a profit. In today's video, we are a long way from home. We are hitting up a few thrift stores in North Myrtle Beach. So hopefully we buy things cheap and sell it high online for a profit. All right, we are back at the first pull store. This is where Natalie is gonna try and grab something <laughs> with her first try. She's first one- First pull magic. First pull magic. She's one for two right now. <laughs> Let's see. All right, it looks solid. I'm eyeing up that brown jacket myself. Hold on. What do we got? Holloway? Wait, that's that's a super vintage brand actually. Yes, and it's like fleece lined or what is wool. blanket lined? Wool plaid wool lined? That's I don't actually know. I don't Charlie. Charlie. Uh, this ruins it. Fail. If it was plain it would have been a pickup. It would have been a pickup, yeah. Good try. Okay. Alright. Alright, as soon as I turn the camera off, she Second found something. Pull magic. It's Eddie Bauer with down, with goose down. We don't normally pick up Eddie Bauer, but when he's got goose, goose down, uh, it, it may be a good pickup after all. Should so be solid. We'll, we'll look it up and see if this is it. Nice. All right. Yeah. Solid start. All right. This is a type of sweater you always want to look out for. Brand doesn't really matter. Yes, some do better than others, but overall, any Kooji style, that's what it's called, sweaters do well. And the size on this one was extra large tall, which is just like even better. As you saw on the tag, this is a Croft and Barrow Kooji style sweater, and Croft and Barrow is not a brand we typically pick up. However, we have sold this type of sweater from them for $68 on Mercari, so it was a no-brainer to pick it up. And right next to it was a Harley Davidson women's v-neck long sleeve, had a little nice graphic on the front and also on the back with some small studs on it. We're definitely very picky when it comes to women's Harley Davidson and I would have only picked this one up had it been in excellent, good as new condition, which it was not. You can't tell on camera, but it had some pelling and some wear in the fabric, so I left it behind. So, my first find in this store, we got a Vintage Eagles Windbreaker. So, made in USA. I've never seen that. Legends Athletic, size medium. This is a maybe. It is kind of plain, but as long as the condition looks good, I don't see why it wouldn't be a pickup. Eagles are hot right now. 5 0. -E. <laughs> <laughs> so, hopefully, this is 489 rather than 599. Um, but yeah, nice pickup. Go, birds! Sad seeing the shelves empty. Hey, Will! Alright, so I'm in the shirt section, right? And I just saw all these pants bundled up here. No, I did not do this. Somebody else put them back here. I'm like, oh, what's this? First thing I see is a pair of Adidas golf pants, which I know is an automatic pickup. Around 20 25 plus shipping if it's in good condition. This one is super lightweight though, like super lightweight. Feels very, very nice. And I like that the logo on the inside is like a um, stick, no, not sticky, but it kind of like attaches to you so it doesn't slip down. But yeah, very nice pair of golf pants. And then I'm like, okay, what's next to it? Let's see. It's a brand I had never heard about called Bonobos, Bonobos. I, I have no idea how you say this, but apparently this is also two pairs of golf pants. At least I think these are golf pants and they have an over 100% sell through rate and should get like $30 plus shipping. And they look in excellent condition. Nothing crazy about them. Just a little logo on the back here. That's it. So we're going to pick all of these up. I don't know why one person didn't want them. Maybe they just changed their minds, but uh, yeah, more pickups for me. And then I'm going to look up this Callaway. It's probably not a pickup, but 
since there were right next to these ones, <laughs> I'm just gonna double check. <laughs> After looking up the Callaway golf pants, I was right, these are not a pickup. It's about a 50% sell rate and they're selling for less than the other pants. It just wouldn't make enough profit and it wouldn't be a quick enough sale for these to be worth the pickup. So this one's gonna stay here, but picking up the other three. All right, so <laughs> Will spotted this. A sealed Top Gun 1986. Uh, wait, what do you call this again? VHS. VHS. It, this thing is, it ranges from like 20 bucks all the way up to a thousand if it's graded. So what I'm gonna do is just post it up and put it at auction. But potentially <laughs> hundred. Or more. <laughs> Alright Nat, where are we at now? Salvation Army. <laughs> wow, some new rats. Yeah. Doesn't look like anything good. Nada. No. Alright, 0 for 2. Peter Millar, size XL, one fourth zip. Hopefully there's no stains. Six bucks, not bad. Automatic pickup every time. It's a cool shirt. Veil, the oh, hole. picked up a uh, new tag well new tag new school nike cropped sweatshirt uh, these are just a little bit dust here not stains very good clean condition it's an interesting color it's like a pale yellow mustardy color it reminds me of a lima bean a lima bean <laughs> Got the nice embroidered swisher it is $4.99 and even though it's not vintage or anything, I'm still gonna pick this one up. Should go for 25 plus shipping, if not 30. Nice little oversized crop, which is really cool. Had it been a different color, I would have kept it for myself, honestly. Go wheel! Jacket section. Jacket? Oh yeah, to the back. I never make this turn. What is that? Ah, oh, it looks so cool. Whoa, this is different. Collegiate collection with all those patches. It's a vest, that's the only thing that's throwing me off. Oh wow. Maybe. I noticed a sleeve of a brand I recognized. It is uh, J. Lindeberg. I believe it's a Swedish brand. This is the logo right here. Excellent condition, great sell through rate. I believe we can get 25 plus shipping if I remember correctly, but yeah. Oh, and I also found this guy. A polo Ralph Lauren classic fit rugby short sleeve. Got the huge embroidered logo here. Also got that embroidered. It's not a great size. The long sleeves sell way better than the short sleeves. But we might still just pick it up because of our 
history with Ralph Lauren rugby shirts. They just sell very well for us. So this right here is a huge bolo brand to look out for, Robert Graham. This is the first time I actually found a pair of pants. Uh, Robert Graham, he has like crazy prints on his shirts and everything like that. I just looked up the khaki pants and the sell-through rate is very poor. There's like 31 listed and only eight sold, so these will not be a pickup. I'm actually surprised. However, be on the lookout for Robert Graham. Wow. Yeah, sad. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it. Thank you guys for watching and joining us on this thrifting trip. And as always, oh, you gonna say something? I got a rice cooker. Oh, you were six dollars. <laughs> This is like a hundred and something dollar <laughs> rice cooker. Nat didn't want me to get it. We have two at home. Yeah, yeah I'm going to get two. rid of the $30 one for a hundred and something dollar one. This is a top quality brand, but we'll see you guys on the next video. <laughs>